I've asked for a power of attorney for Dad. Uh. Okay? Now, Dad, the, the point of this was, was you have 50% share uh. of PR, Parley has 50% uh. share. Okay. Now, Not bad, no. okay. Ingo, let's get this right. We applied for a lasting power of attorney. Mm -hmm. And what we'd ask for, Dad, is that you say you want to pass your share of the business to me. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You want to pass your share yeah. Yeah. of the business you. to me. Yeah. Dad, please, can you confirm, do you want to pass your share of the business yeah. to me? Yes. Yes. Why? Why do you want to pass the share? Because that's where it belongs. It belongs. And I've worked for you since 1995. Yeah. yeah. Nearly 30 years yeah, of work. Time. Those customers that you and I worked in the same office, yeah. on the same table together. Now, Parley. Oh, Mum, 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 Mum. This is very important. Okay. Dad has just said what? Yeah. What? Just what do, wait, 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 wait. just say what Dad said. Just say what Dad said. What did you say, Dad? I wanted to you. Okay, you want it to me. Okay. Did you hear what Dad said? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Mum, Polly, do you understand? Mum, 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 do you understand what Dad said? Yeah. Right. What does that mean in English? Oh, just, oh, just, oh, just. Now you have to listen to me, fine. Okay, okay, okay. All right, 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 right. Just, just a second. Just, a, se just a second. Just, just a second. Just a second. Ingo, you are trying to pass your share of the business to me. Yeah. Now, a letter was presented that's legal. Yeah. That was written and typed and signed, and it specifically says. You do not want to pass this business Who to said me. that? Who said that? Uh, okay. Uh, anyway. Now, you stressed in the letter that we were paying more in the interest than actually the debt itself. Yeah. Somehow, the actual debt was not being paid. Yeah. And we, because of Napoli, we had entered a circumstance where we are in a perpetual system of paying off interest only yeah. right now just to get that clear you will never break out of it you will permanently be in debt yeah. okay so on lasting power of attorney what i'm asking for is to be able that i with your permission yeah. can be able to pay the bills directly the first attempt i've made two years ago was explaining to parley if you pass the property to your children you can pass it either way one house to Roland, one flat to me, or one flat to Roland, one house to me, or the best option for Roland, Roland inherits the house and the flat. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, mum stresses that when she passes away, that the government handle all of this from inheritance. You and I then played a tape recording to Parley where we had rung up the uh, inheritance tax. Yeah. And what happened was, by giving them the value of both properties, they said, in, including everything that's accrued, you will pay £200,000 in, in charges. Okay. Yeah. And I said, if Roland works at a post office, how many years yeah. is Roland going to have to work to pay for that. Never had that. Now, Parley was told this, sorry, Mum, Mum was told this letter after letter after letter after letter. Then what happened was a new response came in. Now, just remind me, yeah. just remind me, you want to pass the business to who? You. To me. Yeah. For your 50%. Yeah. Now, what's happened is this this is a law firm. Yeah. And this law firm has to respond to a letter that was typed and written and signed. And it claims you do not want to pass anything to me. Who claims that? Right. In that letter. Now, they have to respond. Now, we are entering a new circumstance now. We're going to go through the choices of what we can do now. Do you understand this? Yeah. 
The first choice is you've offered to say, I want to pass my share of the business to my son. Yeah. A letter appeared that completely says absolutely the opposite. It's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah. Now, I just want to be very clear about this. Uh, let, let, if I leave the country, if I leave, mm -hmm. uh, I, and I mean leave this country, yeah. okay, I'm allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? There is no law stopping me from leaving this country. Do you, want, do you agree with me? Yeah. Do you know that my passport is not English? German. German. Your passport is? I'm German. I'm a German. Now, what I want to do is I would like to leave and not work at all. Okay? I would like to go. The, re like the, the, the reason why I would like to go is because I am, after... 30 years of working with you, Dad, mm -hmm. not once when you were around. You did all the work, you did all the shopping, you cooked all the food, you cut the grass, you did, the, you did everything, you paid all the bills. Everything was run like a German. Mm -hmm. The second you got old, and I mean old like you were in hospital, mm -hmm. I looked at your business bank accounts and suddenly the name Ingo Timmon had Swanapali Timon and Roland Timon underneath this. The first time, and do you know when this happened? When you were in hospital. You were in hospital. So, Pali owns 50% of the business. Roland doesn't work for it, so Roland's name should, should be struck off from there. What I'm going to do is, do you remember that I left this country and I decided to live in a motorhome? Do you remember? I left this country and I sat here on this chair and Dad was there and I said to Dad, I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I'm sick to the back teeth of this. Every person that I try to work with works against me and I just want to go. And do you know what I've done? I built a, a motorhome with solar panels mm. and a bed and a kitchen and an office and, it, and a toilet and a shower. And all I needed was that. The very same thing is going to happen now. Do you understand? I am leaving the country. Now, as my mother, you need to be told this. As my father, you need to be told this. The reason why I'm going is because this kind of preposterous rubbish sent to me has basically driven me out of the country. Now, do you understand, when I got this letter, Dad, how upset have you seen me? Have you seen me upset? Mm. Right. I don't want to be upset. Mm. Now, what I thought was a regular thing of you saying you want to pass your share of the business to mm. me yeah. has been turned into now I can't live in this country because of this. We have to stick together. You can't run away. No, 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 no. You no. can't run away. Pa we have to stick okay. together. Now, so, so, I... so, 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 here's what we can do. He's Dad. not listening to me. I yeah, have to yeah, explain the yeah, law to me. Dad, 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 here's what we can do. You have now said three times you want to pass your share of the business to me. Yeah. Yeah, do you understand that is completely in contradiction of what a lawyer is asking this to be? I'm leaving the country. You can't leave the country before. Do you know why? You have to look after that. Do you that. know why? Uh, now, now take, he, that's my point. Me. I that, that, that Pali, Pali, listen I'm to me. Done. That's my point. Dad, who do you want to live with? Uh, me. You want to live with me? Right. Because of this, because of every single thing involved, I don't want to live in this country. No. I've decided I want to live in the south of Germany. Right. Right. I like it there too. Now, what's interesting about this is we have a new problem, don't we? We have a business that I've been working in for 30 years. It, 30 years. 30 years. And it can is, you please it is to ground to a halt. How can we, with you saying you want to pass your share of the business to me, mm. and how can we, with this mysterious letter, that says the exact opposite. How can we solve this so that I don't have to leave the country? Here is my first proposal. 
This is my first one, and it, I think it's also the last one in terms of options. We applied for a lasting power of attorney because you said you wanted to pass your share of the business to mm. me. Now, I did not know a mysterious letter would crop up from, that was not written or signed or typed by you, and suddenly we are in a legal dispute. Listen to me, there's good news in this. If you've tried to pass your share, and I've asked for lasting power of attorney, my argument is a woman approaching 90 cannot handle the sale of a flat in London, the sale of a house in Brickett Wood, then to live with a son who has autism that's never left the house in 50 mm. years. And somehow a 90 year old woman who's hospitalized with problem after problem after problem, instead of, in, instead of, instead of, instead of being told, this is very straightforward, Roland, you have the house, Garvin, you have the flat, or go, Roland, you have both. But do you know what's happened? You don't do you know history. what's happened here? The very law that I've asked for us to help, be helped with, is turning against us. I want to go away. Now, if Dad wants to come with me, will you accept that Dad wants to come with me? No, Dad must stay here. Right. But Dad I stays, can't Mom to says to you, Dad must stay here. Okay. Now, listen to me. Because I asked Dad, do you want to pass your share of the business to me? Dad said, Yes. Yes. Now, Dad, I loved working with you. It was fantastic. Mm. I never had a single problem. Mm. Pali or Mum, this is the problem. If I don't want to live here, I don't want to deal with this, and if I don't want to work, it is my choice. You can't stop me. I am allowed. If I want to go to Germany right now, Guess how much are you allowed to stop me with these lawyers? I can go. You can't stop me. And guess what, Mum? If I leave this country, I'm very sorry, but it's my choice. It's nothing to do with you. You can't run away. You have to face the facts, okay? I go to this man when he said, Mum, I'm not running away. No, I, no, I am no, going I because said, I want to go. I told him that my son Garvin is a very clever man and he's the only one who will be running because they said they can appoint other people. I said, my son Garvin has been very clever, very sharp and very, very, he's the only one who will work as management of PI International. Right. I'm not that doing that. I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm stopping Hold you. on. I quit. That letter I went quit. to the judge. Okay? Yeah. And I said, you will not have anything without my consent. Because we are, uh, he can't take, because uh, we have everything double, he can't take decisions. And I told him, because their law is so we can appoint someone else uh, to the company. I told him, my son has been running this company very, very clever, cleverly. Even during the pandemic, he had a very high amount. My son is the only one who will be running PI International. And it has gone to the judge.